Hello and welcome back to another Vinegar Syndrome Blu-ray update video. This time it's all of the September releases, maybe October releases, I forget. Um, but anyway, we've got some fun films to talk about, so let's talk about them. I've probably reviewed um, almost all of these titles in the channel so far. A couple still to come, but I've seen them all, so let's talk about them. First up, we have Mutant Hunt. This really quick, low-budget movie is kind of fun throw away it's not the kind of thing that you're going to watch often it's kind of the third movie in a marathon where you're kind of tuned out you just want to have a giggle this is the kind of movie i don't know if i'm going to go back to this one or not i'm going to leave it another couple of weeks and it may end up on ebay next up we have the absolutely fantastic the ice man cometh yun biao maggie chung yun wa a uh, terrific two uh, characters from the Ming Dynasty get frozen, thawed out in current day and continue their feud. One is undoubtedly a good guy, uh, just as much as the other is undoubtedly a bad guy. And their feud is just terrific to watch. Yun Wa is a terrific bad guy. And because his bad guy is so over the top, megalomaniacal, terrible, you just, you really hope Yun Biao is going to win out the day. Uh, Great action, great set pieces. I mean, it takes the detours that it has. It doesn't matter because it's all great fun interaction between Maggie Chung and Yun Biao. And there's a little back cover of that one. Terrific film. Next up, we have the kind of pedestrian Buried Alive. Now, a lot of people have been really, really terrible about this movie, or talking really terrible about this movie. Would I say it's a great movie? No, it was fine. I could kind of lost its footing a little bit and never really moved from second gear into third which I was hoping for but there's some good performances, there's some good kills and this one inventive and some fun moments like I said, not great but not as terrible as everyone would make it out to be I'm glad to have discovered a few people on my channel that really loved this one and it was nice having a little interaction even though it was not one that I really um, attuned to it was nice to hear other people's thoughts on how they really did like it Next up, we have the 4K of the Amitable Horror, which I particularly love this cover part of it. There's a little, I don't know if you can see here, but it just says Get Out in red. It's, it's kind of hidden, but the Amitable Horror is a terrific horror movie. It's both definitely designed that way. You can almost feel the hands of the director manipulating scenes to make them uh, very effective. Now even though you feel that touch of someone manipulating you, it still does its work, it still becomes scary and atmospheric and I really loved getting back into the world of the Lutz family. I love some of the crazier Amitable movies but as a good solid start with a grade A cast, Amitable is fantastic and this transfer, wow, it's amazing. Uh, I've spoken to a couple of people about it, in my eyes it looks perfect uh, better than the standard Blu-ray that I had for it. I watched it in the 4K disc. Amazing. Number 27 in the VSA is Dawn the Dragon Wilson in Red Sun Rising. A kind of counterpoint to Black Rain, where this time we have a Japanese man travelling to America to stop a, someone who killed his partner. It's again throwaway action, kind of fun, very racist. If you've seen my review, you'll see some clips of the absurd comments that come out of our heroine's mouth in this one, which is just, hmm, ridiculous. But it was kind of strangely compelling at the same time. The action's fun, the bad guy's great. It's a kind of easy watch. I don't know how many times I'm going to go back to this one, though. No. Uh, now on to two partner label releases that I got this month and two that I really enjoyed. First up is Married to the Mob. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer is terrific and this one Matthew Modine is great as well it's got, it's got a wonderful cast Dean Stockwell, Alec Baldwin, uh, Nancy Travis a whole host of other people as well and it's really weird this romantic comedy which it most definitely is uh, how it kind of comes about because it feels as if it's trying to etch into a series tone but then shies away from it for some absurd humour later on. 
The characters are the what sold me here. I loved the characters. I wanted to see them interact with each other. I wanted to see romances blossom. I wanted to see the crazy shenanigans of uh, Mercedes Rule as she just like a force through this movie. It was just so much fun. A smile on my face the whole time watching it. Married to the Mob, amazing film. And finally, uh, from Dark Star Films comes the Ozploitation Fair Game. Buy this film. The review is coming. It's fantastic. Under 90 minutes, we have a woman whose uh, partner is away. She lives in an animal sanctuary. There are three men there killing the animals and just being obnoxious and terrible. And their paths keep crossing. In fact, they keep antagonising each other, um, refusing to back down, escalating things, and it just keeps going that way until people die uh, in the most creative and fun manner. I loved the lead character. I thought the bad guys were so gratingly awful. They annoyed me and I wanted them to get their comeuppance, which was a, a key to my enjoyment of this movie. As exploitation flicks goes, this was terrific. I had a whale of a time watching this. Uh, the, the whole makeup of the van, the adding in of the animalistic sounds as it revved its engine it was terrific. It's just a great film, and I'm I'm a little bit worried that Fair Game is going to be overlooked, which is an incredible shame. If you like kind of exploitation movies, genre films from Australia, this is one not to be missed. Terrific entertainment. So there we have it. That's everything I picked up uh, last month, this month. I can't remember. It's all turned into a blur now. I would love to know if you picked up any of those. What else did you get? Do you have any recommendations for me? Let me know in the comment box below. And while you're down there, hit the like button because apparently it helps the channel some way. I don't know. There's more content up here, you can see more of my stuff and in the description box below this video are links to the Patreon, the membership program and manvfilm.com Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time on Man V Film.